OK, first that news on Andy Murray. He's announced that he will retire after the upcoming Paris Olympics. Let's go live to the French capital now. Join our senior reporter, Geraint Hughes. Geraint, very good morning to you. I, I guess this was the news that we all knew was coming. Yeah, you're quite right, Rob. It was um, kind of a bit of a, a badly kept secret, wasn't it? But nonetheless, there is something kind of fitting uh, about this, uh, which I, I think we'll allude to over the course of our, our, our chat here, Rob, is that Andy Murray has a, a, an affinity, a passion, a genuine love for representing his country, country, whether that be at the Davis Cup, but especially at the Olympics, because this is the fifth Games that Andy Murray has uh, uh, competed for Team GBs at a, at, a, at a Games. I think you can really get a sense of what this decision means to him. Um, he posted it on social media a little bit earlier this morning. Uh, Rob, I was uh, fully, you'll be very, very proud of me, uh, croissant in my mouth with a strong uh, cup of coffee in, in, my, uh, in my hand as well. But he posted on social media today that he'd arrived in Paris for my last ever tennis tournament at the Olympics, competing for Team GB, has been by far the most memorable weeks of my career and I'm extremely proud to get to do it one final time. Those choice of words, some of the most memorable weeks of my career, for a player, a person that has achieved what he has done in his career, to deliberately put that in almost like his sign-off sort of social media post, it, I think really sort of puts through what this means to him, to be in Paris, um, you can argue about whether t you know, tennis is placed in the Olympics. Is it the pinnacle of the sport? You can argue that with golf and with football as well. But don't have that argument with Andy Murray, with Sir Andy. I had that, I remember, in Rio and in Tokyo. And he put me straight exactly what tennis, what the Olympics meant to him together. Uh, for him, it is, it, it is up there. He is so proud of those two gold medals uh, that he has already, already won. And the fact that now he is in Paris as well. The significance is of this week, a few days out from the opening ceremony, is that a lot of the athletes have completed their preparations, whether they be completing those in the UK or in the various training camps in and around Paris. They're now coming together in the Olympic Village, and that's where Sir Andy Murray will be. And he seems to love that environment of being amongst the boxers, the gymnasts, whether they're table tennis players, swimmers. You know, I'm sure he'll, you know, he'll bump into Adam Peaty probably at some point today, or you know, Delicious Ori, the super heavyweight boxer as well. He loves that environment. That is why he's at these fifth games. Um, so yes, I, I don't think it's a huge secret that he was going to call time uh, here at, the, at these Paris Olympics. But um, I think the fact that he's done it with uh, a tweet using those words about it's a memorable part of his career really says and shows what uh, being at the Olympics means for him. Yeah, as you mentioned, his fifth Olympics gold in. 2012 and 2016, as you alluded to. Um, so uh, will we get a chance of seeing him perhaps podium again, or is that too much of an ask here? Never say never. Um, there's a desire. Uh, there's a passion to be here in Paris with Team GB, to be representing his country. It didn't go to plan uh, whether Wimbledon was going to be his farewell. I think it was always in his plans. Uh, to come to the Paris Olympics. But look what happened at Wimbledon. He had to delay whether he was going to play in the singles. Then he didn't because he hadn't quite recovered from that surgery that cyst he had on the base of his spine. Then he played in, in the men's doubles with his brother and he, he was barely on court an hour. Mixed doubles didn't happen at all because Emma Raducanu unfortunately had to pull out. So Wimbledon, it was the archetypal d damp squib, that one. I think the only thing you could maybe wonder the US Open at Flushing Meadows has always been he's always had a real affinity with playing in New York would he have gone on there but again perhaps this is just showing us and the heart what representing Team GB his country means to Sir Andy Murray and what it means to be an Olympian for the fifth time as well I think that's what I'm reading into it as well and it's very very interesting as well the announcement coming today as he's arrived in Paris confirming that tomorrow from Team GB. Uh, the big cheeses, along with a sort of a vote amongst all the athletes, decide who the flag bearers are going to be for Team GB on Friday night at, at the opening ceremony, the extravaganza that's going to be going down a, a six kilometre course of the River Seine here in Paris. I think Andy Murray's name very much goes into the mix. I, I think I'd be slightly surprised, Rob, if, if, if Murray was the flag bearer because he's done it before. He did it at the Rio 2016 Games. And whilst Andy Murray, yes, wow 
doff your hat five-time Olympians. Uh, so is the diver Tom, Daler, uh, Tom Daly. These are his fifth games as well. Uh, and I think in terms of who will be the female flag, uh, flag bearer alongside, whether it be Sir Andy Murray or Tom Daly, whoever, I think we've been hearing a lot of chat over the last few weeks about Helen Glover potentially being the flag bearer. But Sir Andy Murray's name most definitely in the mix, uh, considering that uh, the announcement today of his retirement after this, uh, this, this Olympic tournament, that he could be in the mix to be the, the flag bearer for Team GB as well. And Geraint, you were absolutely spot on. I was very proud of you. You painted a perfect Parisian picture, croissant and a café au lait in Paris. Absolutely magnificent, my friend. <laughs>